Hey guys, my name is Richard and I've been uh, during the last couple of weeks uh, working on a live action compositing setup together with uh, Unreal Engine and the HTC Vibe. I thought that I should share my uh, progress in making a virtual production setup uh, on a budget. This is of course something big companies been doing for years, but I think it's quite interesting to democratize the live action compositing business. And it also creates opportunities for filmmakers like myself to do cool stuff. So today I'm going to show you how I capture the motion tracking of the physical camera into Unreal Engine. And this is of course possible thanks to the HTC Vive's tracker packs. And one of those guys is tracking constantly the, the rotation and the space in the room you're in. So I put this tracker on uh, one of my Ursa Mini Pros, which of course makes uh, the tracking. And how all this works, I'm gonna show you what I've come up with. And here, here's a scene for a, from an upcoming project I'm working on. Uh, it's like a downtown scene. Uh, and what you see down here is the studio space of the green screen uh, studio I'm gonna be using. Uh, and over here are the things that control the camera tracking. Uh, first I have a Cine Live camera. Uh, which is a child of the tracking pawn. And how the tracking is working, yeah, it's this little br blueprint. It's pretty basic stuff and you, I'm working on getting this more uh, thought out, but uh, this is working for me right now. Uh, it all starts with uh, a get track device position and orientation. Uh, the orientation is going into a combined rotators and this is only because sometimes when I'm uh, turning on the tracking puck uh, the axes are flipped and this is the best solution I come up with to fix that if that happens. Uh, the, or uh, the, the orientation goes into a set rel relative rotation and its target is uh, the pawn itself. Uh, from the out position of the get track device position, uh, it goes to set relative location, and the target is also the uh, pawn again. And as you know, the pawn, uh, the, scene, the camera is a child of the pawn, and uh, so whatever the pawn is doing, the scene and live camera is doing. And I thought I can play so we can see what's happening. And here is the camera fully tracked. It's responding real time. It's pretty cool actually. So that's how I get the camera tracking into Unreal Engine. Over the next couple of videos, I will explain my system even further because uh, this is just a little part and uh, it's way more complicated like that. If you have any questions, just comment and I try to answer it. Or if you yourself are working on a similar type of production, uh, hit me up on Twitter and we can chat even further and come up with even better solutions to this. Thank you.